Welcome, in this video we're going to take a look at monitoring IP spoofing activity on your network. My name is Dara Delaney from NetForge. Now there are many ways you could detect spoofing activity. I've got a Langardian installed here and it's monitoring traffic that's going through my core switch. So it's doing packet capture via span port. And what I've noticed is in my network events report, I've got thousands and thousands of network scans. In the last half hour, almost 270,000. Now why I suspect that this is some spoofing activity, the source IP address here is not in a range that I use myself. So we don't use 10.3.1.1. So somehow this traffic is appearing on my core where I don't use this subnet. Drilling down further, traffic looks even more suspicious because the IP addresses being targeted here again are not ones I use. So this all looks very much like fabricated data. So I don't need to investigate it further, I need to know more about it. And to do that, if you see any strange IP addresses, just copy it, put it into the search facility here, and run a search. Now what I'm looking out for here, probably the main thing is to see the traffic associated with this device. Drilling down on it, it's about 1.63 megabytes. But what I want to see is, you know, is it their flow has been established? Is there actual connections between clients? None of these IP addresses are familiar to me. They're, while they're local, they're not ones I use. And they sent and received here. So there's no data being received back. Tiny amounts of uh, traffic being sent. So it looks very, again, very much like this is falsified information. Now what I want to do is find out well, what is sending this, what looks to me like spoof traffic. And a critical piece of information here is this MAC address. So this is coming from a VMware system. So it's a virtual machine. So some virtual machine on my network has just gone a bit crazy. It's generating these nonsensical packets so what I could do is just check and see is there any other IP address associated with that MAC. So I just go into services here, go into MAC addresses, pop in that MAC address, maybe look at 24 hours, see if there's anything else we have detected with that MAC. No, we only detected with this one IP, but I can trace this MAC through the network by just looking at MAC tables on my switches so I can find out where this rogue device is. So Problems can come up where machines just go crazy. People install applications that generate just, you know, spoofed IP packets. So by having a monitoring tool in place, we could see what type of packets are they, what type of Mac, what Mac address associated, so we can get that device off the network.